Right, what do we have? One, two, and you, I think. Yeah. So, from your your position, can you hit this guy? No. Is this because of the door in the way? Is that the only... No, there's a side of the mountain in the way as well. Fine, I think you've accomplished everything you can there. Let's move you down. What about you? Still got you two. Guy at the back. Right. You see... Ah, you see this guy. Right, if that's the case, kill this guy up here. Nope, that hit the... The banister! Great. Right, just fire wildly. Oh, no, you can't. Move to the side and fire wildly. Uh, right. Yep, come... You need to come up to the hill. Uh, you... Need to move back into the firing position. Everyone dead. Phone. Right. I've been told we need another rocket. I'm inclined to believe. Uh, we'll wait till next turn. If you hide behind this rock in the meantime... Estonia. Will you continue? Or should I just grab a laser and go at them? <laughs> or should I throw a high explosive in the building? Yeah. Well, I know what I'm doing today. Reserve for kneeling. I don't need to kneel. There we go. You should be safe there. VPN. Drop. Come out and cover. We're gonna throw a high explosive at them, I think. That's what I decided. Uh, I don't want to send you out. I might need to, though. Is there... There's two people which are asleep. Which I can stim to life. Yeah. Which might just fall asleep again. I can imagine that- I know why the goons would panic! They're fighting people that just don't go down! And now we only see six of them. I wonder who these guys are. Thankfully I still got that one guy over there that's still asleep. I just have to keep checking on that every now and again. Right, this guy. Yes. It's a complete mess. Okay, got him. Hell, might be able to take two back if the fire seems to have died out just before him. Okay, you see the guy up there. How about we give him a little bit of a surprise? Can we see him? Well, I know where he is. He's there. There we go, that should take out quite a few of them. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Who's the other guy you see? This guy over here? Good. And it's, Right, so there's two goons. That's all that's here. Still got a high explosive that I don't think is even necessary anymore. Uh, unprime. Drop on the floor. Uh, I think we'll just grab a gun. Let's just grab a gun. You you stay here. Yeah, I think we're fine now. We'll, we'll keep the critically injured people inside the ship, just in case. Uh, if you can, and I'll stim him back to... There we go, he's conscious again. Right, yeah, we'll throw... Drop the mortar, uh, grab a rifle. So the goons panics, panics. So there'll be someone that's still fighting- ah, there we go. 
There's people in the, uh, the underground. The pool table's still safe. That's the important part. All right, phone, we don't need that. Uh, Cyrus, do you see this man? Let me see that guy. Yeah, whatever, kill him. Shut the t uh, stairs leading up. All right, you move. America's gonna need to recover after this, that's for sure. Okay. Okay, I think... I think we're there. Just about. There's a few people still willing to fight. Like you. <laughs> it was on that top floor which got blown up. And there's you just to turn the corner. I think, can we see this guy? Not quite. So you can see him, but he's not a threat. There we go, blew off the top of his head. Which means I can turn you around, and you can see this guy, and you can kill him. Yes! Two enemies alive, two enemies surrendered, 300 points from 47 kills, only two extra operatives died. Oh yes, Exalt Master Master's Cane. I don't know who you are. Uh okay, maybe it's something we need. Electric Club. Uh apparently I haven't seen this one yet, or that one. M60, yeah. Illegal requisition files, alien communicator. Exalt Liquidator. We got a pool table! <laughs> yes. Right, let's... Again, you'll need two more people here. Uh, oh, there's been an alien landing. Right, fuel tank been made. So, uh, along with that, we need... It was a repair, wasn't it? Where is it? It was a... It's like a minigun tank repair, it said that we had. Or, or maybe we don't have that. Tank. Fuel tank, minigun tank, latest tank. No repair. Ah, yeah, there it is. 15 hours. Cool. Uh, in the meantime, we'll send a raven to take off and leave. Or to go there and leave. Because the, uh, the other one's still a bit... Uh, finny. So, what do we got? Oh, zombies! Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you got this, right? Farmer with a knife? I believe in you. I believe in you. I know a fighter when I see one. Black Ops Assault Cannon. Right. Uh, this Black Ops uh, heavy weapon fires heavy bullets in rapid uh, single shots or four shot auto bursts. Right. That's a lot of damage. So now we can get it as well. Need a requisition. Okay, tank repaired. Good. Did I already- I already made a pike, didn't I? Yeah, I've already got one. And I can't, I can't put it on. Maybe it's not for my current level. I suppose. Yeah, 
You need to capture an exalt master here. But he was killed, so better luck next time. Oh! Wait, I didn't even see him! Maybe I blew him up with a rocket launcher, I don't know. He might have been on the third floor when the rocket went up. Oh well, um... I'll hopefully have heavy tritanium suits by then, and I can just walk in with stun rods and, like, bag him and attack him. What I need now is... Not stun rods. Let's get some more of these. Okay, and with that done, let's get some more... Let's see, should I get some shrapnel stuff? Tritanium shrapnel charge? Yeah, let's... Let's get, uh, 20 of them. Sky Marshal has been produced. Good. Uh, in that case, let's go with this. Raven in Europe. No, actually, hold on. Raven in America. You go here. Europe, you stay back. And... What was this one? This was a small. Small can go from Spice Emporium. Oh, it happened again! Uh, okay. I don't know why we have such have such problems with those guys. Oh, it's never one of those. <laughs> Wait, am I- I'm about to lose two, aren't I? Oh no, we destroyed that one. America did fine. Asia did not. Huh? Oh, there's another one. But we're on our way back. I thought that they didn't do it if it was on our way back. Okay, it's only a very small one, though. Okay. So that's two of them. Uh, but we need a new raven now. So that's what you're gonna have to produce at some point. How are we doing for your materials? I know America got lots of uh, alien alloys. Only It's only if you're on the way back from a mission. Right, so I guess a sortie doesn't count. I think alien alloys. Yeah, you have a lot. Send it over to their base. They're gonna need a lot of it. Very small. Uh, send the Raven from Europe. Nope. Ah, damn it! Uh, can you get back in time? Please say you can. Nope! Crap! I'm about to lose this ship as well! Okay, so that's two! Because apparently they're just- how did you not see that one? It's there! <laughs> right, so, and I'm back down to one interceptor. Very small. There's tons of them. Right, but this- hopefully this European one will be fine. Okay, good. Just turn home. I... Just go home. Do not get spotted. Just go home and be alive, please. Manufacturing. Uh, once you're done with your tank, yeah, you're gonna have to produce your own raven, I think. Advent, right. Uh, one Inceptor better than zero Inceptors, yeah. Advent is a fanatical union of various alien agents and allied forces uh, whose activities focus on supporting alien infiltration missions. Led by the aliens, uh, this organization aims to subordinate uh, Earth states uh, through cr the creation of puppet regimes. At the initial stage, Advent develops a spy network in, a, in the country, introducing, all, introducing its agents to all sectors of society, including officials, uh, members of the government, and high-ranking military personnel. An important step is signing a secret cooperation pact between the state and the newcomers, resulting in with 
uh, withdrawal from the Council of Funded Nations. Advent can then act more openly, forming a variety of government entities that, among other activities, can effectively cover up secret alien operations. Some people will volunteer to help them, led astray by promises of a brighter future and an age of peace that the aliens will bring. But the truth about... Uh, the real plans of the aliens will not be revealed uh, to the masses until they take over the entire planet. Okay, so that's Advent. We know about our enemy there. What should I go for? For two people on the bulletproof coat design. Let's do... What does impersonation lead to? Syndicate HQ access. In the reproduction leads to medkits. Just do alien engineers. Okay, got the cannon. Yes, yeah, got my alloys. Right, yeah, you're still making me have a tritanium. Okay, lasers complete. Make your own raven. Stop the production of that. Let's create more workspace. Get on there, 11 days. Good. Uh, same with you. You messed up. You make the raven. You don't have enough materials for the raven. You need three more, which I can send over. Uh... I'll send it back from Cockroach Bunker. Tint will save some time. Send them across 20. Oh, and also send them the Sky Marshal. Uh, I should have transferred that over a while ago. Ah, Alien Engineers, right. Engineers are a special caste within the alien ranks, trusted enough to be given knowledge of the alien arcane equipment. Uh, some of it. Recruited from soldiers, they spend their lives in total, uh, in totally secluded communities within the alien base. A mo uh, monastery of sorts uh, until they are deemed ready for service. Engineers normally work in alien factories putting together pieces of weaponry uh, to be used against Earth or maintaining alien vessels on missions. However, despite their intelligence, they possess little actual scientific knowledge. Their skills are mostly uh, based on practice and re repetition without deeper understanding. Okay, so I, I can do these and get... I know the enemy, and I'll be able to go from there. Those are actually quite quick. I'll take them. Alien Navigators, right. The Navigator cast stands considerably higher than the soldiers, often acting as junior officers on less important missions. Uh, they also have access to certain secret information necessary for piloting uh, UFOs and other secret uh, special tasks. Navigators are normally housed separately from soldiers to prevent information leaks and undesired uh, fraternization. Despite their privileged status, uh, they still do not know where the, alien, the aliens come from, except that they're somewhere within the solar system. Okay, I guess that leads me to alien soldiers. Abducted farmer. Uh, staff input. Fun with terms. Commander, I really think we should not refer to the harvester as a... The harvest ship as a cattle bruiser. I know the agents commonly do this, and I understand the value of humor as well as bonding with the men, but this term doesn't look good in official debriefing transcripts, especially in Central Asia. Got it. Noted. Uh, unfortunately... Oh, yep. Get these guys. Get the one guy to research all the guns that we got. Tritanium shrapnel charge has been produced. Yeah, make some stun rods. Pilot has been recovered. Pilot has been recovered. Okay. Europe, I'm trusting you here. It's only a small one. Good. Make your own raven, but do it yourself, guy, to cool for, uh, for cool teens. Yeah. 
Another spur. Ah, damn. Uh, the Raven's still refueling for five hours. Alien soldiers. Our alien captive uh, divulged some information regarding its bleak day-to-day -day existence among the invaders. It told us about the vast uh, metallic halls somewhere underground, endless training sessions using psionic equipment, eating the automatic food dispensers. Eating from... Not eating, eating the automatic food dispensers. Oh, I love the food dispensers. <laughs> eating from the automatic food dispensers. Sleeping in regeneration chambers and participating in VR sessions for entertainment. However, the species, uh, the specimen was completely unaware of where the alien base was located or anything about the infrastructure of the alien forces that uh, we didn't already know. Right. Uh, if that's the case, let's go on to the floater medic. I'll do the leader later. But the medic... I want to figure out what the medic is. Oh, I've already landed. Uh... It's a very small grounded. I think America can take that one, although... Should America take that one? <laughs> they did get uh, quite ruined last time. Yeah, they're, they're like wounded to crap. Uh, maybe I'll throw someone else out there. Maybe Asia. If I take all of you with that save craft, uh, Asia, Asia, Fins, and then equip craft. No, also, uh, take all of you off. Actually, I don't need to do that. I can just equip them on here. Then it was this one. Age of Fins. And Age of Knap this. And do we have anything else? I gave them Tritanium, right? Or at least they should have some Tritanium. They don't have uh, Tritanium Clips, they don't have that yet. We need to work on that at some point. But you should have uh, all the personal armor. Yeah. Ooh, you're one off because you have it. There. AJ is a fully functioning team. Let's send them out. It's been a while, but Asia's finally gonna go out on a mission. Oh, but the ship is leaving. Raven! Shoot it down! Okay. It's gone, but it's fine. Strange life form. I don't even need to do these missions anymore. They don't, produ they don't provide anything for me. Yes, it's a creature. What kind of creature is it? Is it like a chupacabra? It's it's literally a chupacabra. Oh, civilian, 60 points. <laughs> That'll really dent my score. Laser cutter, right. Oh, what is this? This portable device is similar in function to the industrial lasers we use in our labs, but it can be used comfortably in the field. It easily cuts through almost any material allowing our agents to examine otherwise inaccessible areas. The laser cutter is equipped with a, a row of... Uh, crossing emitters, which create a system of interwe interwoven laser beams, focusing in a small area near the tip. Therefore, this device only works in direct pro proximity to the target. 130 damage! <laughs> so I know what that is. Uh, okay. So, Master's Cane. Uh, Exit Files. Uh, Exalt Liquidator. Uh, Cyberweb Technomad. Floater Corpse. Uh, well, I've already got Corpse that I want to work on anyway. Uh, was there anything else? There wasn't. Right. Do UFO navigation. Yeah. Get the navigation done. So now we can make a laser cutter. Which I want to make at least one of at some point. 
Ooh, very small. Or just a small. Uh, but last time we <laughs> we have a uh, a what's it called? A pattern of getting shot down by those types. So I think I'll avoid it. We'll send my only interceptor off over here. Crash land. Did it land on an iceberg, or it did? It actually landed on an iceberg, somehow. Uh, if that's the case, that was enough <sighs> missiles to rearm. Overworked. I can send Asia. Asia can do their first alien mission since getting the Sky Marshal. Come on, let's do it. Uh, I don't think I'll need this. I'll turn them all on. Grenade active. Turn them all on, just in case. But I don't think it's dark enough to justify it. Also, you're an artillery piece. You should have this. Oh, damn, yeah, you d I can't put you in any of the current ones, because you don't have this right hand name clip, so you're still technically on the wrong type. Uh, you know what, Soviet Union? You get this. Uh, this. We don't even have Tritanium bullets for our ones in Europe. Uh, Bowman GTA. Uh, take that off. Yep, I need to sort all of you out. You are... Not good. Jeez, yeah, you, you are all not good. And I can't even use any of my presets. I'll have to get you some Tritanium at some point. Right, there we go. Uh, this is just an issue of you. Not having anything on you. Do this template, it'll be fine. Oh wait, that was my <laughs> damn it. Uh Ron. You get that, and you can have one of these. Okay, uh oh, looks like I'm not gonna be able to just end the turn. Oh, the Rocketeer sees him. Okay. Okay. For the love of God! <laughs> right. I... So I know that happened. Alright. Can I still... I can't... Can I just shoot from here? Okay, we can wait. Open the doors. Open the doors. See a little guy. You missed. Good job, jackass. Ah, you're just gonna die, aren't you? Yeah, you're just gonna burn to death. <laughs> There's a, yeah, so that's two people dead already? Great. Okay, so that's two people gone. Oh, you're... You're alive. Did not see that coming. Uh, but they won't see this coming either. Good job. <laughs> it's a small, so killing this many is actually really good for us. 
we stop that? Jeez. Oh, that's it. That's, that's it. Uh, who is fatally wounded? You are. I think we can work on that. And who else? Uh, Kazuma. There! Perfect! Two people died, and otherwise we absolutely destroyed them. But that's a good first mission for Asia. Get back in- get, get back into the Swinifins. Well, everyone got solid. Right, so Asia needs two more people. In fact, let's get him a few more. They have the capacity. Ooh, illegal requisition files. These files contain details of some unauthorized equipment used by criminals. We should spend uh, time collecting and analyzing them. Uh, they may also, they, as they may also be important evidence to present to the council. M16 or M M60. Uh, I say we promote Elizabeth to honorary black sword for that. <laughs> what? Getting shot, uh, going down, getting back up, picking up the rocket and killing two aliens. Maybe. A famous U.S. machine gun used since the Vietnam War, but recently been phased out in favor of a lighter uh, saw. It is powerful. Uh, 7.62mm uh, ammo. That makes it effective at even quite long range. It fires from standing position as... Uh, firing it from a standing position is only advisable when posing for photos. I can now get that. Let's, uh... Where's my requisition? There it is. Oh, it's at Embassy again. This time it's way over here and I still don't know what aquaplastics are, so I can't go. Flotomedic. Okay, floaters are the primary sol are primarily soldiers and terror agents. They are naturally predatory beasts, genetically engineered and cybernetically enhanced to make formidable warriors. The lower half of the body is most internal, and most internal organs are surgically removed, and a life support system is installed. This implant contains an anti-gravity unit, which enables the creature to float, albeit unsteadily, through the air. What is that? A waspit? I have not seen this yet, but the medic apparently knows what it is, and I am terrified. What is that? Uh, the, autonomy of the, the anatomy of this creature verges on insanity. The body contains a spiral, uh, a spiral life support uh, system combined with a, a symbiotic bioengineered plant grafted onto it. Uh, grafted onto the body are a pair of mechanical arms and insects like head of a creature, which is presumably the only piece left of the original species. The plant portion of the body is vulnerable to fire. I don't even know what this is, but apparently the photo revealed it. Alien medics, alien life forms, energetic blood plasma synthesis. Oh, apparently they can figure out how to synthesize blood plasma. Let's, okay, medics I can go quite easily through that. Strange life form, yeah, I can just turn up and leave. Avalanche missiles, good. Another strange life form. I can just, I can send. I guess I can send the Kitsune just to turn up and leave. Yes, <laughs> there's no one here. Oh, people died. That's fine. A very oh, that's small. Yeah, avoid that. And zombies, cool. Alien medics. Medics are uh, partially important. Uh, sorry. Medics are partially important to the alien war effort since a lot of alien tech is organic. Medics are selected at birth or draft uh, when applicable. 
Based on promising genetic traits, they receive full combat training similar to soldiers, but entirely separate and only start their medical education afterwards. They possess good knowledge on some specific portion of alien... They possess good knowledge on some specific portion of alien medical knowledge, but are poor at applying it without standard alien equipment. They generally don't interact with other castes much, except when providing medical services at alien health and augmentation centers, or when participating in away missions. Okay. So we're slowly figuring all this out. Alien life forms. Oh, get this acquisition. Uh, and alien life forms. Okay, we finally forgot this. What this is a futuristic personal defense weapon uh, equipped with. Whatever. More people for Spice Emporium and acquisition done. Good. So that's two more for research. Figure out, yeah, UFO navigation. We should probably get on that. Medium convoy. Uh, I think... <laughs> that graphic looks horrific. I think I will go for that, but I think we'll also end it here. 4,000 points. Uh, I think, yeah, we'll end it here for today. We've researched quite a lot, actually. And we're getting on with alien life forms. Now, where does that go? The Martian solution. So we actually, we're getting on to the fins we need to... Get, uh, complete the game. We unlock that by doing the floater. It's actually the first time we've <laughs> done one of those, apparently. We don't get it from... A sectoid. A croc? A reptilian? A what? Oh my god, look at all this. <laughs> oh, and I got it from the deep one as well, that I have. Okay. We'll go veil and life forms. And we'll go from there. Uh, it's a lot we need to research. I got one guy I can throw on something else. Keep going with that. I really want this up and running. But yeah, I'll sort all this stuff off, uh, out off screen. I'll need to make the ammo, which I can make quite a bit of, actually. Yep, but I shall leave it here. So, thanks very much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Next time, we have an alien convoy to go to. I'll sort out all the names. I'll make sure to put some subscribers in there. Because uh, I've been slacking on that. So, I'll put the subscribers in. I'll try and put new followers in as well. Thank you for everyone who subscribed and followed. Uh, and hopefully, we can get on with saving the world. Uh, we're close to the end of the month, so we'll have to see if anyone else leaves the project. I don't know how many people can survive on... Uh, maybe we only need one country. <laughs> Maybe I could just keep going with, like, Germany, Poland, and France, and Ireland, and Iceland, apparently. Uh, but that's all for next time. So, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you then, guys. Later.